Let's talk about Booleans and logic. All right, we found us back in Tell Jones more and continuing the Java introduction here for Minecraft modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about Booleans and logic. So to reiterate or to basically pick up from where we left off, Booleans are either true or false. That is a very important thing that we need to keep in mind. And basically, they sort of show a truth value, right? Obviously, true or false. That can also be represented by a one for true and a zero for false. That is sometimes also a thing that you might see. So for example, you could say Boolean good video might be equal to true, while Boolean subscribed might be equal to false, but maybe we can turn that around. And of course, we can also output those. So system out print line, and we can say this is a good video and then we can say good video over here and what we'll find is that this is a good video true nice where might booleans be used inside of a game for example well there is one thing which could be very interesting and that is for example if we turn it back to minecraft maybe is creative is a boolean now this is not exactly how it works in the game but that could be a very interesting thing to keep in mind right it's like is it creative is false and then we can say system out print line player is in creative mode and then saying is creative and what we're going to find is player is in creative mode false now that's all fine and dandy however what can we do with booleans well well we're going to be doing a lot of things with booleans and the first thing is comparisons it's because comparisons are basically booleans they return a boolean right as we've seen previously if we were to add two integers together right so 10 plus 10 right? This returns an integer. You can think of it like the following. You put in an integer and then you do the plus operator and then you put in another integer and this whole thing returns another integer, right? Right now we're assigning the value of 10 plus 10 to the x variable. And in the same way, comparisons are operators which return boolean values. Now, once I'll show the examples, it is going to be very straightforward and you're going to immediately understand what I mean. The comparison operators, are of course, smaller than smaller or equals. We have bigger or equals, bigger, and we also have equals and unequals over here or not equals. So those are the different comparison operators that we have. So for example, maybe you have some points in your exam. You have 76 points out of 100 and maybe there is points to pass. Might be something like 55. Let's say you need 55 points to pass and you have 76. So then you can make a Boolean and you can say has passed test. And what would that be? Well, that would be points, right? Is bigger or equal to points to pass. Once again, when it suggests this to me over here, I just press the tab key to autocomplete. And of course, ending this with a semicolon. And there you go. So this would be bigger or equals in this case. And then we can say system out print line has passed the test. And then this is has passed test over here. And if I were to run this, you can see this is true. If all of a sudden, actually, no, there was a mistake. You only have 47 points. Well, if we run this now, has passed test is false. So that is very interesting indeed. A, another way to take a look at this might, for example, be a health value that might be zero. And then we can have a Boolean called is alive. And that would be, well, health has to be bigger than zero. Otherwise, well, you are no longer alive in this case. And you could say system out print line is a player count Joe still alive. And then you just put in is alive over here. And once again, if the health is zero, then nope, that is not the case. So that is really freaking cool. And what I basically highly suggest you do is you play around with these comparison operators over here and you just see what you can build with them. So equals and unequals are, of course, th those are pretty much the easiest ones. So, so we can, for example, say over here, this is our Boolean test over here, let's say. And then we can say 100 is equal to 100. This would be true in this case, right? And if we were to say test is like 100 is unequal to 100, that's of course false because, well, they are equal. We'll see the comparison operators in a future tutorial as well in a little bit more detail. And then you will basically be able to find on where to exactly use those as well. So no worries at all. But first of all, we need some logic over here. So logic is very interesting because in this case, there are three sort of logic operators that we have. It is and, or, and not. So those are basically the three that you can build a computer with. That is also why there is an AND gate, an OR gate, and a, well, basically a NOT gate, which basically just an inverter basically turns true into false and false into true. I've made a comment over here, so let's just copy this over. This is, of course, available to you in the description below, in the gist, as well as the GitHub repository. And you can basically see this is what happens. So if we were to say A or B, then C is the result. So that's always how this is going to work. And you can see if both of them are zero, then the result is zero. And if either of them right over here is one, then the result is one. 
And if both of them are one, then also the result is going to be one. That is the OR operator. So it's like it's A or B and then C is the result. And then for the AND operator, you can see both of the booleans here have to be true in this case for the result to be true. That is the entirety of the logic that governs the uh, basically any computer that exists. Because with the OR, the AND and the NOT over here, you can actually create all sorts of other gates and logic operators, but we're not really interested in those right now. Those three are going to be plenty. So, for example, to have a little bit of a more straightforward test, what is this going to be? Well, we have a Boolean. Let's pass test one. So you're going to have the first test, and let's say that is true. And then we have another Boolean that is going to be passed test two. So basically, we have two tests, and in order to have honors degrees, you have to have passed both tests, right? So has honors, then might be passed test one, and pass test two. And only if both of them are true, then you have actually passed with honors. So that is a very interesting thing. We can basically say true if both are true. That is the general idea. And now here in the end, I actually want to do a little bit of a thought experiment or exercise. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write a few things. And that is, first of all, a scanner. So we're going to get an input over here. So this is going to be a scanner equal to new scanner over here, in this case, with system.in over here inside of the parentheses, and now we can read stuff in. And what I want you to do is I will basically lay out the entirety of this thing, and then you have to write a specific Boolean instruction. I will give the answer basically immediately afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user their age. So we're going to say system out print line, what is your age? And we're going to say int age is equal to scanner.next int. All right, that is awesome. And then we're going to say system out print line put in true or false, are you from Europe? And then we have a Boolean, which is called is European, equal to scanner.nextBoolean. And now we're going to have two integers, which is going to be the EU drinking age, which I'm just going to put at 18. Probably not exactly correct everywhere in the EU, but that's going to be fine. But the US drinking age is going to be 21. So we're just going to put this in. And yes, there are other parts of the world, but let's not make it more complicated than it has to be, okay? And then we can have a Boolean, which is called can drink. And this is now what you should fill in over here. Like the, the dots over here, what should be here so that we can system out print line, can you drink? And then we're going to output the can drink. So what would be right here so that this is going to work? Ponder this for a little bit. It's actually going to be a little more complicated than you might think. If you go through the logic, then it should actually make a lot of sense. So we have two big cases, right? Either the person is European or they are not European. If they are European, then we have to take a look at the age and compare it with the EU drinking age. And if they are not European, then we have to compare their age with the US drinking age. So I will just give you another five seconds over here. You can also pause the video and try to tinker this out. You can also write it down on a piece of paper and sort of think about it logically and then you should be able to get it at some point. Let's take a look at the solution over here. So the idea is that, well, first of all, we're asking, is this person European? If they are European and the age is bigger or equal to the EU drinking age, now they can drink in Europe. That's awesome. However, we also have to get the US case, which is going to be an OR operator. So it's going to be either this or this, which is now going to be the person is not European. So we're going to have the exclamation mark, which is the not operator. So is not European and the age is bigger or equal to the US drinking age. And now all of a sudden, everything is going to work here. Pretty freaking cool. Don't worry, by the way, if you didn't get this, the most important thing is actually that just that you understand this afterwards so that once you see the solution, you sort of logically understand why this actually works and how the whole process works with, you know, figuring this out. And we can even go through this. So let's take a look. What is your age? Let's say I am 25. Then it doesn't even matter whether or not I'm European or not. But let's just say yes. And I can actually drink in Europe. That's awesome. Now, if I were to be 14, I'm not from Europe. It doesn't matter, though. I cannot drink, which is pretty freaking cool. Or I guess not, depending on where you go with that. But there you go. Those are going to be Booleans. We also have the comparison operators and we have the logic operators. So there is a lot of things in here. I highly recommend you take this piece by piece, basically trying out a bunch of the comparison operators over here, just playing around with this, thinking about where those could be used and useful and then thinking about the logic gates over here because those are going to be very interesting indeed so going forward we're definitely going to need both of those basically all the time all of this is very foundational to programming so definitely do take another look at this maybe even rewatch the video go through this a couple of times 
on your own. Try it out. I, this is basically the best thing that you can always do. Just throw a bunch of stuff into the IDE and see what comes out. And at the end of the day, you can always erase it once you are done with it. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time, we'll continue with the assignment operators in this video. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.